What's up you guys? This is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't even know that Strange World had come out yet. I, I had no idea. I completely forgot that this was even a thing. And I didn't even realize that it had come out until yesterday. When I heard some news about how bad it was doing at the box office. So I figured I'd do a video on that. As you can see, the domestic box office as of right now is $18 million, 88, no, yeah, eighteen million eight hundred fifty-five thousand one hundred fifty-six dollars, and the international box office is nine million two hundred thousand dollars. The worldwide box office total as of right now is only twenty-eight million fifty-five thousand one hundred fifty-six dollars, which is pretty sad. If we check out the box office. It came out November twenty-fifth. And it made twelve million one hundred fifty-one thousand three hundred eighty-four dollars. That's out of four thousand one hundred and seventy-four theaters, and only about two thousand nine hundred eleven dollars per theater, which is pretty sad. You know, this is a Disney Pixar movie, and there was a time when any time a Disney Pixar movie would come out, it was a for sure hit. You wouldn't see a Disney Pixar movie lose money, or even come close to losing money back in the day, back when I was growing up. But now, this movie is struggling to make its $180 million back. And that's just $180 million on production cost, more likely. Meaning that they have to cross somewhere between three and $400 million, and they are stuck at 28 they are bleeding money on this. And I think there's a pretty clear reason why. There is a very, very clear reason why. For those of you who don't know, Strange World is a very, very woke movie with absolutely no substance. And nothing about it is important to the writers except for the identities of the characters. You have a mother and father. I think they're a biracial mother and father who are engaging in the what's the word I'm looking for encouragement that's the probably the softest word I can use encouragement of their gay son to go chase after some gay lover who's he's oh by the way he's an underaged gay son 16 years old in the film uh, and their dog is disabled that's pretty much the extent of what is in this movie. A couple of parents encourage their gay son to be gay at the age of 16, and they have a disabled dog. And, you know, the marketing behind this movie was basically, oh, look at the gay kid, look at the gay kid, look at the parents who are encouraging the kid to be gay. Look at the, look at the disabled dog. Look at the dog, it's so disabled. We think that you're just little mindless creatures, you small disabled people. That's what Disney thinks of you. <laughs> disabled dogs. That's essentially what the marketing for this movie has been. And is it any question, is it any wonder why it is that this movie is flopping? No, of course it's not. We all know why. It's because Disney has focused all its efforts on being as woke as possible for their... Uh, for their investors and for the mainstream media outlets who report on them and for a bunch of screaming harpies on the internet who don't even have a clue as to who they themselves are yet want to make sure that you don't have the ability to make sure that your children have a firm grasp on reality as well. Disney has kowtowed to a leftist political movement that is designed to completely disintegrate the nuclear family. And this movie is suffering because of it. This movie is suffering because of it. It's going to continue to suffer. Because it's... First of all, it's a terrible film with no plot to it. And the entirety of the reason why it is this movie was marketed was because look at how gay our kid is. And that's about the extent of it. 
And I just think that people are starting to wake up to Disney and saying, you know what, I don't really care to have my child manipulated by your political views. You know, you opposed a bill in Florida that was going to keep kids from getting molested in class or manipulated into explicit sexualist activities in classrooms by the teachers. You opposed that, Disney. You opposed that. And because of you opposing that, parents are now looking at you and going, you really don't give a crap about my kid, do you? You'd rather touch them in a couple different ways than actually make a good story that they can just enjoy and watch and grow up on. Yeah. And it's not even an exaggeration. There have been like 17 employees at this point. That is an exaggeration. I'm not sure how many, what the number is. But there have been a lot of Disney employees as of recently that have been brought up on child trafficking charges. And child pornography charges. If you, if you haven't figured out by now that Disney is a completely disgusting and despicable organization that deserves to burn, then I don't know what's going to teach you that. I don't know what's going to show you that, but by goodness, they, they do not deserve to be a company anymore. They do not deserve to have any of our money as customers anymore. They have done nothing but hurt the nuclear family, and they have done nothing but desire to tear apart the fabrics of our basic society that we live in. Disney is despicable. They're evil. They're disgusting. They need to be stopped. And this is one of the best ways to do that. Continue to make all of their movies flop. That way they go broke and they can't afford to make political marketing pieces anymore. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, share this video out there with your friends, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a single video I upload, and also make sure to check me out on Rumble, Patreon, and Twitter. I leave links to those in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.